The team of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa Two Seas Motorsport achieved the impressive victory of a double podium finish at the start of the British GT Championship season in the UK. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah expressed pride in the result with the resumption of competitions in the new season and with Bahrain's victory in these major international sports races. He praised the performance of drivers Ian Lodry and Phil Keane, who demonstrated their experience and ability once again to confirm their position in this championship. The duo won second place in the opening race of the season and third place in the second race. As for the racers Kevin C and Maximilian Goetz, His Highness said that they were not lucky as a result of their experience on the racetrack, especially with the impact of safety cars and coaches. He affirmed their ability to lead again at Silverstone. C and Goetz in the Dash H18 Contempo concept car faced heavy traffic and violations, which reduced the chances of achieving any gains. Team Tosses is currently focusing on its first European participation in the Fanatec GT World Challenge Europe, powered by AWS, which take place at Paul Ricard at the later date. The outcomes of the report of the National Audit Office NAO on the Productive Home License Achatwa program have topped the agenda of a joint executive legislative meeting. It was co-chaired by the Speaker of the Council of Pres Representatives, Ahmed Musallam, the Shura Council Chairman, Ali Al-Salah, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Ghanem al -Bu'inin. The Speaker emphasized the common keenness on the interest of the nation and citizens and on supporting the requests of the Akhatwa program affiliates in accordance with the law, provisions, regulations and procedures in force. And the importance of developing programs that contribute to improving citizens' living standards and entrepreneurship. The Shurai Council Chairman praised the keenness of the government to provide the legislative authority with information regarding topics of interest. The government's representatives reviewed the results of the NAO's investigative report on the Khatwa program, where the Minister of Parliament Affairs underlined the keenness of the government to provide all forms of support to the citizens to benefit from government programs and services. In light of the royal order of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding the preservation of the historical and cultural identity of buildings and cities in Bahrain, and in implementation of the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister to open, renovate and develop 32 mosques affiliated with the Sunni and Jafari Waqf directorates in all governorates, and in conjunction with the country's celebrations of the Silver Jubilee of His Majesty's accession to the throne, the President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, or the SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, inaugurated Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Mosque in Muharraq following its renovation. Sheikh Abdurrahman expressed pleasure at the opening of the mosque during the last 10 days of this holy month. 
He hailed the support places of worship in Bahrain received from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister, which stems from their belief in their importance, message and vital role in the lives of Muslims. He commanded the ancient history of the Sheikh Hamid Mosque as it is an important historical religious landmark in Muharraq, bears the name of the late ruler of Bahrain, Sheikh Hamid bin Isa bin Ali al Khalifa, and is one of the oldest mosques in the country. Sheikh Abdurrahman affirmed that the SCIA continues performing its duty in serving mosques in various governorates in cooperation with the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs, and Waqf, and the Sunni and Jafari Waqf directors. This is Bahrain held Praying for Humanity event in the presence of the Minister of Labour, Jamil Hamidan, officials and various communities. Hamidan praised the support of His Majesty the King for such events that aim to consolidate the values of tolerance, peace and coexistence, which is what Bahrain has always been known for. He said that holding this event in the blessed month reflects the peaceful coexistence and mutual respect that is characterized by Bahrain thanks to the comprehensive development project of His Majesty the King. The chairwoman of This is Bahrain, Betsy Mathewson, thanked Bahrain, the government and people for always ensuring an environment of respect and tolerance for all religions. I'd like to thank This Is Bahrain for inviting me along this evening. It's been wonderful to see all the communities here gathered, celebrating Ramadan, celebrating Easter, celebrating just being together as they are every day here in Bahrain under the wise uh, vision and leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who has made this one of the most accepting, welcoming places in this region, and if not in the world. And I feel a strong parallel with the UK there because uh, I've just been in London where Faiths of all kinds were gathered around Ramadan, around Easter, uh, worshipping, being together. And it feels just the same here. And it's a very, very special uh, society and um, environment that's been created here in Bahrain. This is Bahrain holds an event every year during Ramadan. And this year our theme is Peace for Humankind. His Majesty is such a powerful, bright light in this world of darkness for religious freedom and peaceful coexistence. And we are proud that this is Bahrain and all of our communities have come together tonight thanks to His Majesty's patronage. Um, it's very important also that we mention the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Um, he does so much for all of the communities here. His government worked very hard and as an NGO um, we are very, very grateful for the support. Bahrain is a very special place. It is probably the most cosmopolitan community in the world, whereby people from about 70 or 80 different nations who live here in peace and tolerance are able to feel part of the fabric of society due to our gracious hosts, led by, of course, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isra Al Khalifa. Bahrain is a place like no other. I'm so pleased that I've been able to live here, bring up my family in such uh, an atmosphere of trust, peace and happiness. The Board of Trustees Chairman of Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies, or DIRASA, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received Arab ambassadors to Bahrain and hailed the brotherly and close ties between Bahrain and their countries, including in scientific research. He noted Derasat's commitment to research excellence, knowledge, exchange and building partnerships in accordance with the high standards of quality and efficiency, as it is one of the international centers of expertise and one of the best research centers in the region. Sheikh Dr. Abdullah affirmed that scientific research receives the support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister. He briefed the ambassadors on the events of the center and its publications. The government, in partnership with the private sector, is working to accelerate meeting citizens' housing requests by adopting innovative solutions in accordance with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Prime Minister's directives during the Cabinet meeting to achieve the visions of His Majesty the King aimed at developing the nation. 
The Ministry of Housing seeks to provide a set of alternative solutions and options for those who are eligible to choose what is suitable for them. The Ministry has worked to enable citizens to obtain adequate housing, the most important of which is building modern and integrated housing towns, in addition to launching programs and financing services granted by the Ministry through the Tesheel program and the new category of Mazaya, which provides citizens with a range of options to buy or build. The Ministry also launched the Government Land Development Rights Programme with the aim of providing social housing units in partnership with the private sector. The first project of this programme was the Sohail with 132 housing units. An agreement was also signed to implement 131 housing units in Salman Town. The Ministry is also implementing eight additional projects. The Labour Market Regulatory Authority conducted 788 campaigns and inspection visits during the last week of March, which resulted in arresting 74 violating and irregular workers and detecting violations related to the, related to the provisions of some regulating laws. The authority noted that legal measures have been taken regarding the violations. The Sunni Waqf Directorate congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan and Eid Al Fitr, wishing the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. The Sunni Waqf Council announced that the Eid Al Fitr prayers will be held at its affiliate mosques and prayer areas at 5.30 a.m., noting that it has prepared 19 fully equipped Eid Al Fitr prayer areas in addition to prayer areas at many schools for non-Arabic speaking communities across all governments. On this occasion, the Sunni Waqf Directorate thank the government's entities that have cooperated with it to, to prepare the Eid al-Fitr prayer areas. They include the Ministries of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture, of Interior Information, the Electricity and Water Affairs Authority, the Ministries of Housing and Urban Planning, of Youth Affairs, of Education, of Health, and the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. Al-Azhar Grand Imam and head of the Muslim Council of Elders, His Eminence Dr. Ahmed al tayyib received Arab Parliament Speaker Adel al-Asumi. The Grand Imam praised the efforts made by His Majesty the King to spread the values of peaceful coexistence among people. He stressed the necessity of building on the historical results of the Bahrain Dialogue Forum to consolidate the values of coexistence and peace between different cultures and religions. He also praised the role of the King Hamad Global Center for peaceful coexistence in spreading and consolidating these values through pioneering programs at regional and global levels. And Asumi praised the pioneering role of Al-Azhar Sharif under the leadership of his eminence in defending Arab and Islamic issues. <laughs> 